the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. Have you checked your fruit today? You know, the fruits of the Spirit are found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. You can't be arrested for loving someone. You can't be arrested for being good to someone. You can't be arrested for having self-control. But you can be arrested when you operate in the works of the flesh. And one of the things we had a real good conversation, my real good dear brother, friend of mine today, was, was someone made a comment, on, even on TikTok, about trying to label a group of people uh, because, I guess, the most things happen to them uh, that they uh, are responsible for it, and that's the characteristics of them. And see, that's why I want to ask a question for any of you. Does the melanin in your skin, lack of or abundance of, dictate your behavior? I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find anything. I found some pseudoscience, but I couldn't find anything scientifically saying that the melanin in my skin dictates my behavior or my intellect or anything else in my skin. See, there's no brain cells in my skin. But you know what is the problem? It's when we are cardinally minded. The Bible says in Romans 8, 6, for to be cardinally minded, fleshly minded, is death. But to be spiritual minded is life and peace. See, that goes back to the fruits of the Spirit again, isn't it? it the, the Jeremiah 17, 9 says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Ezekiel says, yet you say the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, I will judge you, every one, after his ways. God is saying that every last one of us will go before God, not as a group of people, not based on the melody of your skin, but as an individual. <laughs> What's your spirit? What is in your heart? Romans 7, 18 says, For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. See, sin is in the flesh of every man, not based on the color of the skin, not based on the melon, but based on sin in the flesh. And you have to let the Holy Spirit and be spiritually minded, bear fruits of the Spirit, love one another, have joy, have peace, because God wants you to do that. Have you checked your fruit today? And remember this. It won't be based on the melon on your skin. It's going to be based on the Spirit, the Holy Spirit in you. Check your food today, man. God bless you. Ha <laughs> ha!